Hey, what's up y'all? Today we're gonna start painting our first painting for this Migrant Farmer series that I've been talking about. I already have a sketch ready to go. I got my canvas set up and some paints. So follow along and uh, let's paint this painting together. To prepare for this painting, I've already made a sketch. This is the painting that I'm going to do on canvas. It, that's my dad. That's me, my cousins, my uncles, and my grandparents working in the field. So instead of doing it portrait, I'm going to do it landscape on a uh, this canvas right here. It is, I think, 24 by 18. So it is uh, 24 inches wide, 2 feet wide, and uh, 18 inches tall. Uh, I'm going to use brushes. This is, I'm going to use a variety of brushes, just random brushes that I've picked up over the years. Um, it's going to be a lot of detail, so I might use a lot of small ones. And the uh, paint that I'm going to use is uh, acrylic paint. Actually, it's going to be a combination of a lot of acry acrylic paints. This one's Liquitex medium viscosity, which means it's uh, not that transparent, but um, still works pretty good. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep the background. I'm gonna wash it over with uh, kind of like a, just a gunky kind of like maroon brown uh, color. So I have everything filled in and also helps out because uh, the canvas, this material, if I don't really prep it with anything, it soaks in the paint and uh, a lot. So I like to put a coating of paint before I start painting that way. When I do paint, uh, it doesn't soak in into the canvas and it looks a little bit better. The paints that I'm going to use in order to make that little brown gunky uh, background, I'm just going to use a combination of just all these colors really. And uh, I'm just going to mix them up and then uh, once the background is prepped and dried, then I'm going to sketch and kind of figure out where I want the horizon line. and the bodies of my family. So uh, follow along, let's get started. All right, we got the background kind of gunky color ready to go. We're putting this on first because of the canvas is the canvas material, this woven material. This, I think it's I'm not too sure what material it is. I'm sure it's a combination of cotton and uh, other very, very uh, absorbent material. So uh, I'm gonna brush that paint all over and um, let it dry and then we'll sketch on top of it and then we'll start painting. If this camera would focus, there it is. All right, let's get started. All right, the canvas is 
I guess you could call it treated. Um, still kind of has a little bit of bounce to it, but I'm hoping once the, the paint dries a little bit more, it becomes a little bit stiffer. I forgot to mention, this is the first time I am doing this. Uh, I usually start my paintings by like spray, spray, either spray painting the background or I paint straight on the canvas, but I want these paintings to be really high quality. And uh, a lot of YouTube artists that I follow, follow this, do this technique. So um, I'm gonna try it out and if it doesn't work, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll still keep the painting. Um, it's still gonna be a good painting. Still, it's still gonna look good, but it's it's something experimental that I'm trying for the first time. Just because I want these paints to be very uh, high quality and um, feel like they're durable. Um, so don't be afraid to try new things. This is the first time I'm doing it. Um, I'm just following the kind of like the guidelines of other professional artists, and um, you know what? Let's just try it out. Um, so I already did it. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then once it dries, I'm gonna start painting. And this is the painting that I'm gonna start with, the one that I showed you at the beginning. So uh, once it dries, uh, I'm gonna get my pencil or actually I, I might just do it with, with, a, with a paintbrush and uh, some dark paint. And I'm just gonna lay out the lens. The, uh, I'm gonna figure out where I want the horizon line. And then uh, I'm gonna draw in the figures and um, just get started painting. It's pretty late at night. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight, but it's good to start it and it's good to have a good layout of where I want everything to be. So, um, I'm already getting dirty. Okay. I wear this apron just to, uh, I don't even know where it's from, but uh, just to help me not stain my clothes. I, I, I usually wear like a t-shirt or a really old t-shirt or, or really old pants to, um, to not get dirty. Um, all right, I'm gonna get started. <laughs> All right, so I got a good general idea of where I want the bodies. Uh, I'm very happy with the horizon line and where it's at. Uh, it looks even, everything might be a little bit more refined once I start getting into the details. For example, the sugar beet rolls, um, I might work that on that a little bit more once I start getting uh, to the painting part of that i just want to make it look a little bit cleaner but i got a good general outline that is my reference sketch and there is kind of the rough outline so that would be my dad that would be me <laughs> got paint on my finger uh my cousin and uh I think that's my other cousin. These are two of my cousins. You can't really tell in the picture. And then I, I know for a fact those are my grandparents. So a good general outline of what I want to do once I do start getting paint to paint. When I Once I start painting it, I'm going to call it <laughs> quits because it's like midnight right now. I've been working on it for maybe like two hours. I try to do at least, at least have... It's, it's kind of hot in here with all of these lights and I'm kind of sweaty. So I at least try to make some studio time whenever I can. Uh, even if it's like an hour or whatever, there's some sort of production, some sort of um, tasks being completed. So I was only here for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, but I got a good general outline. And I'm going to call it a night and maybe tomorrow I'll work on the sky and the trees in the background. So they're going to be like a dark green and uh, just start filling it out and hopefully finish it. Don't want to take too long on it. I kind of want it to be very rough and like um, not too detailed. Just a lot of quick brush strokes, a lot of energy in it. But once I start gaining... Once I start painting it, I'll, I'll get more of a feel for it and I'll, it kind of just develops on its own. So I'm very excited. Um, this is going to be the first painting that I'm going to hopefully uh, showcase 
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. There's gonna be more painting videos, more videos of the series where I'm applying for the grant. And um, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I'll see you next time. Peace.